In the previous session, I've briefly introduced the concept of truth table. Truth table is basically a table that shows the relation between the input and the output in a digital logic circuit. So in this session, we will look into more details on how to actually build a truth table for any logic circuit. Just for a recap, the truth table here shows a logic circuit with uh, two inputs, which is A and B, and one output Z. So normally in truth table, the input will be on the left side and the output will be on the uh, right side. From the previous session, we had take a look at AND gate and its truth table. So the truth table tell us that the output will be high, only all of the inputs are high. So in this case, A is high, B is high, then the output which is A and B will become high. So this is a very simple example, a very small circuit of only two input and one output. So please bear in mind that it does not matter what size of your logic circuit that you are going to design in the future. You will basically start with this uh, definition of the truth table. So for example, we can actually use this uh, logic gate to uh, represent a security system which has two inputs. The first one uh, we can uh, use the first input as a for example temperature sensor and the second input is our motion sensor. So the output will be an alarm. So in this case the alarm will sound which is become high if the temperature sensor and the motion sensor give a high input. So this is a, a simple example of how uh, we can actually apply the logic uh, circuits and using the truth table to define our operation. Now, uh, let's have a look of how to uh, actually create a truth table diagram. So in this example, I just want to give a simple example of how to build a truth table for a three input circuit, which is A, B, C, and then it has one output Z. So the first step is actually uh, to start to build a table and give the three input names, which is A, B, C at each column on the left. And then on the last column on the right, we write down the output name, which is in this example is Z. So the next step is to define the combination of the input logic. So in this case, uh, we want to know how many rows or how many inputs combination. So based on earlier chapter, we have actually uh, learned of how to determine the number of combination based on the input numbers. So the number of inputs combination or the number of rows is basically 2 to the power of n where n is equal to actually number of inputs. So in this example, we have uh, three inputs. So the combination will be 2 to the power of 3, which is we have 8 combination. All right. And then the output will actually depends on our 
logic circuits or logic expression okay all here so n is equal to 3 so the total combination or total rows is 2 to the power of 3 which is 8 so now let's insert the uh, each inputs on each of the row so we'll start with the combination of the lowest count which is uh, if we have the its combination so we'll start from I write down here sorry um, so the count is basically we'll start from 0 1 2 until 7 so the total is we have 8 so in binary it will be 0 is 0 0 0 and next we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 all right let's look into the example here's the logic circuits of a uh, number of gates so we have uh, one not gate here two or gates and one and gates so how will the truth table will be drawn to find out the logic expression for this circuit all right so if you look into this one so uh, we we realize that uh, the first is we have one a inputs b inputs and z output so we have two input two input sorry and uh, we have uh, one output here okay let's just put output here all right so we know from the previous uh, slides uh, we have two inputs which is a and b and we have uh, one output all right the first step is actually to fill in the first two columns uh, input columns a and b and count the combination from uh, counting up in binary okay why why do we have a four combination because if you still remember we have two inputs 2 to the power of 2 then we have a uh, four combination which is actually count from 0 1 2 and 3 so each of this number here is represented by the binary number of each of this decimal number 0 1 2 and 3 The next step is uh, to find the output from each gate respectively. Well, um, the easiest way is uh, to start from here, from the input side, which is A and B. So normally the input will be on your left. So uh, we have input A go through a inverter or a not gate and we have the output is A bar, which is uh, the inverse of A and from here we have all gates with input A and B so we have uh, output A or B and then both of these um, A bar and A or B will be the input to this end gate and this is the output from here and finally both from uh, A or B and the input from here we goes into the last OR gate and finally we have uh, the output Z equal to A or B or A or B and A bar all right so this is the, the final output for this uh, logic circuit and in the final step so we have to fill in the output value so fill in the output value based on the input combination of the logic equation so what means by this is actually so this is our z or z so a or b so zero zero so this part will become zero and this is also a or b become to become zero 
a is 0 and a bar is equal to 1 and 1 and n 0 is become 0 so 0 or 0 is actually equal to 0 so that's why our output here is 0 because our input is both 0 so you have to repeat the process until the end and supposedly we have this uh, output value based on this uh, input combination all right uh, in here is a second example let's say we have a, a very simple uh, circuit we have only one uh, and gate and one or gate so total two gates but the difference is uh, we have uh, three different input which is a b and c and we have one uh, output set so uh, based on the previous slides explanation supposedly you have already familiar with this so we know that uh, we have a total of uh, three input so we have a total of eight combination count from zero to seven so so this is uh, basically zero to seven in binary okay so our task is actually to find out the value of z based on the input combination so let's have a look at for example this zero 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 so what happened if uh, our a is zero b is zero so here will become zero and c is zero sorry this one is become zero so zero 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 or zero so z will become zero so our output here is a uh, zero okay let's take a look of this one zero zero one so we have zero 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 but this time it's a one so the input is one and zero so in uh, all gates uh, if any of the input is high so the output will become high so we have a high here so if you try to complete this one supposedly you have a, 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 this okay please try yourself for uh, this the rest of the inputs which i didn't sh show uh, completely in this explanation okay so i leave you uh, with uh, the exercise so please uh, try to see if you can find uh, the output expression which is y equal to what is the expression and then please try to draw the truth table based on this input combination so as a hint you have an uh, input combination of a b c and d all right that's it for now thank you very much